Welcome students. So in your previous class we have just started the chapter uh, chapter six that is a story. Okay, Honey the Fighter. Okay. So it is your uh, next part of this chapter, second part. Okay. So before we start the remaining parts of this uh, story, let us uh, recall uh, the first part we have already discussed of this story. So, uh, mainly there are uh, four, uh, three characters. Okay, the main character, Hanmi, then uh, Mrs. and uh, Mr. Sangwen. Okay, Hanmi's parent. Okay, then Jane, Hanmi's teacher. Okay, so uh, let me ask some questions regarding the. Uh, First, uh, first part of the story we have already discussed. Okay, uh, question number one: How old is Fanny now? Okay, Fanny, uh, how old is Fanny now? Fanny uh, is now seven years old. Okay. Then uh, next question: What uh, at, at which age did she suffer from brain fever? Brain fever. Okay. So at which age did uh, did she suffer? Means did Honey suffer from brain fever? Okay. So uh, she was at the age of it was uh, she was two years old. Okay. Then she was two year, year old when she suffered from brain fever. Brain fever. Okay. Then next question: What did the brain fever make Honey? Okay. So. Uh, the answer will be the brain fever made Hermi deep and mute. Okay, it is there in the first paragraph of the story. Then, what do you mean by disability? Okay, what do you mean by disability? Okay, we have already discussed the meaning of disability. Okay, so. Disability refers to a physical or mental problem or difficulty. Okay, it is a problem, physical or mental. Then, what made Hani frustrated and rebellious? What made Hani frustrated and rebellious? You know, frustrated, uh, frustrated, uh, frustrated means. Feelings are expressing distress, okay, irritation, anger, displeasure, okay. A rebellious means disobedient, uncontrollable, which cannot be controlled, okay, disorderly. So, what made her name frustrated and rebellious, okay? So, uh, 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 the answer will be the disabilities which had uh, with. Honey, okay. The disability, uh, disabilities made Honey frustrated and rebellious. So uh, we will start the remaining parts of this story. So uh, we started that Honey was suffering uh, uh, brain fever when she was two years old. Okay. So uh, so that she became deaf and mute. Okay. So uh, his, uh, her father and mother were very much worried about the disabilities of her knee. Okay, so uh, they decided to join uh, her to a institute that is Hope Institute. Okay, so that uh, uh, her knee could be able to communicate with others. Okay, she can learn the disciplines and. Uh, 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 she can communicate with other people. So uh, finally, they uh, went to a, a, an institute. The name of the institute was Hope Institute. Okay, so it was a school for special children where uh, uh, they meet a teacher named Jane. Okay, so Jane, the teacher, agreed to come to their house and. Uh, help Fanny to communicate. Then, what happened? When, uh, when the teacher, okay, when Jane interacts with 
for me uh, it was not normal okay so the funny behaves like uh, funny screams loudly and pushes her okay so uh, at that time when uh, the uh, the mother of funny enters between the teacher and funny and then the teacher stops her and takes out a doll out of his bag and give it to the child funny okay then uh, we will begin funny concentrates and does the same on jane's hand okay so what did funny do okay so funny did the same thing what his teacher did with her okay so funny also uh, spell the word doll okay so uh, the teacher jane says funny you are very intelligent you actually spelled out the word doll on my hand okay said jane the teacher then they go into the house for lunch jane keeps uh, then keeps talking to funny though funny cannot hear her she can still feel jane's lips move when she touches them okay so uh, what happened next uh, the teacher along with uh, honey they went into the uh, house for lunch okay then keeps talking to honey at the time then keeps talking to honey though honey cannot hear okay though honey cannot hear her uh, but still feel jens uh, lips move okay do honey could not uh, hear anything okay but she could feel something from the leaves of the the movement of the leaves of the teacher okay she could feel then honey you cannot eat like that you must use a spoon okay you won't get food till uh, till you learn to eat properly okay so Uh, whenever there is the lunch time when they get started for the lunch the teacher says that you cannot eat like that okay so you must use a spoon for eating okay so uh, then the teacher says that you you won't get food till you learn to eat properly okay so the teacher urges to uh, honey that you will not be given food until you Uh, not uh, until you learn how to eat properly using a spoon okay honey throws the spoon every time and jane patiently picks it up okay she does she does not give uh, she does not give up until honey agrees to eat with a spoon okay so every time when uh, teacher gave the spoon to uh, honey what was she what was her reaction she throws away the spoon okay so repeatedly honey throws out throw throws out the spoon okay but at that time the teacher patiently handled honey okay by uh, picking the uh, by picking the spoon up okay again and again uh, until the uh, until honey agrees to eat with a spoon okay so uh, the teacher patiently manages to do this activity okay so until uh, honey agrees to eat with a spoon the teacher kept practicing her okay then then i cannot thank you enough you have help honey communicate okay so the mother of honey thanks uh, thank to the teacher that she had done a very uh, uh, he had done she had done uh, a lot of uh, for honey to communicate okay to learn how to communicate so that is why uh, the mother mrs samuel 
thank the Lord to the teacher. Then the teacher says, she is a smart girl. She grabs everything quickly. Okay. So then the teacher replies to uh, to the mother that Pani is a smart girl and she understands or she grabs everything quickly. Then it's time. It's time now that I take Pani with me to the Hope Institute to learn to speak. Okay. So the teacher suggests. Uh, to the mother that she would take a funny with her to the Hope Institute to learn to speak. Then Mrs. Samuel uh, okay funny and Jane set for the institute. Okay, so after that getting the permission from uh, her mother funny and Jane started for the institute. Okay, so Fanny and Jane set for uh, for the institute. Okay, Fanny learns to speak many words. She also learns. Uh, she also learns to use the sign language. Okay, to communicate. You know, sign language means a way of communicating by using hands and other parts of the body. Okay, so Fanny was learning the sign language to communicate. Okay. So then, uh, then the teacher calls uh, to her mother, Mrs. Samuel. Okay, so Mrs. Samuel, Fanny is doing very well. I think she is ready for college. Okay, so then college. How will she manage with students? We can uh, we can speak and hear. Okay, she will be so scared. Okay, so when the mother. Uh, listen about honey that she is going to join or she is ready for college. The mother exclaimed and said that how how is it possible? Okay, so uh, because honey was a disabled child. Okay, so it is uh, uh, beyond his, uh, beyond her belief that she will join to a college like a normal child, like a normal student. Okay. Then, uh, then, when he starts going to Hilltop College, she will soon be a graduate. Okay. So, graduate means a person who has a university, university degree. Okay. So, when uh, he starts going to Hilltop College, the name of the college was Hilltop College. So, when uh, he starts going to Hilltop uh, hill College, College, she will soon be a graduate. I am a graduate. I got my degree, says Honey. Okay, so when uh, his, uh, when Honey's parent arrived in the uh, in the institute, home institute, Honey met her parents and said that I am a graduate. Okay, I got my degree. Congratulations, my darling. Okay, you have done it. We are so proud of you. Okay, so her mother, Mrs. Samuel, congratulate, uh, congratulates uh, her dear daughter and said, You have done it. Okay, you are, uh, we are proud of you. We have one more surprise for you. Okay, the teacher, okay, Jane said that we have uh, one more surprise for you, for the parents, for his father and mother. So what is the surprise? That Fanny has written her autograph, autobiography. Okay, here it is. Okay, so the teacher provided him, uh, provided the parents with a book, which was, uh, which was an autobiography written by Fanny. Okay, so autobiography, we know that auto, autobiography is the life story of a person written by himself or herself. Okay, so it was all about the story. With this, we end this story. So let us know the meanings of difficult words. First, first one, react. React means to behave in a particular way 
in response to something or someone. Then, scream. Scream means a loud, a piercing sound. Okay. Then, concentrate. Concentrate means focus one's attention on something. Then, intelligent. Intelligent means clever, brilliant, or quick witted. Okay. Then, patiently. Patiently means with a lot of patience. Having a lot of patience. Then, give up. Give up. It is a pleasure verb. Okay. Uh, give up. It means quit to do something. Or admit defeat. Okay. Then, smart. Smart means clever, intelligent, and draining. Then, grasp. Grasp means to understand something completely. Then, set for. Set for. It is also a treasure for. So, set for means start journey towards a particular destination. Okay. Then, sign language. Sign language means a way of communicating by using hands and other parts of the body. Okay. Then, scared. Scared means fearful, afraid or frightened. Then, graduate. Graduate means a person who has a university degree. Then, autobi autobiography. Okay, we know biography. Biography means the life history of a person. Okay, written by someone else. But, auto autobiography is the life history or life story of a person written by himself or herself. Then, surprise. Surprise means an unexpected event, fact, etc. Okay, so these are the meanings to the words, difficult words. Okay, so uh, I hope it is clear to all of you that the story is very interesting one. Okay, so in our next class, we will discuss the uh, comprehensive question answers uh, of the textbook, from the textbook. Okay, so thank you.